I'm sorry. I appreciate the thought, but I'd like to be alone right now. I need time to myself. I need to think. Although, that's one skill I haven't developed too much. Ah, so we can't talk to her anymore. Is it gonna be like the same thing with Taka, where you... Oh, god damn it. Even though you're dick, can we still try to be friends? Hmm. Sakura and Hina. <laughs> Finally, some action. Hmm. <laughs> Things are starting to become interesting. What do you want? Huh? Uh-oh. I don't see you standing there. Did you need something? That's fine. Fine. I don't mind you... I don't mind allowing you to indulge in my attention. I hope you appreciate this. Spend some time with Byakuya. He apparently really likes these, I think. I see. Now, this is a rare moment. Coming from a noble family, I've never been exposed to such a vulgarity. Interesting. I think I'll keep it. Seeing Byakuya so pleased with something I gave him makes me happy. Hm. So in other words... Just to be clear, being the ultimate absolute progeny is only one of my so many talents. Some people think I rely on the care and protection of the Togami name. Huh? Is this a monologue or something? <laughs> but I don't really rely on my family. Rather, I am my family's savior. The Togami Corporation reaches across the world, true. But I will take us to even greater heights. It is expected of me, naturally, after all. Even my own family has recognized my ultimate superiority. <laughs> In other words, even among the Togami family, I am the chosen among the chosen. So much confidence. Naturally. And that confidence is justified, I assure you. It comes from the battles I've fought and won. Battles? I am personally worth over four billion dollars, separate from the Togami family assets. Holy shit. How the heck did you make that much money? In other words... The stock market. I buy and sell shares and assets based on market trends, all within a single day. Yes. Surely even someone as simple-minded as you has heard of this technique. So he buys and sells stuff on the stock market, doing everything in a single day. I think that's called... Trading cards? <laughs> Would it be day trading? You're talking about day trading, right? And you're able to make four billion dollars doing that? That's right. Well, I first started doing it just to keep myself occupied, and before I knew it, there it was. It's really not a big deal. Um, yeah, it kind of is, Byakuya, especially compared to all these everyone else in the world who will never see that much money in their entire lifetime. I'd say it's a super big deal. Wait, but you're... But are high schoolers even allowed to buy stocks and stuff? Don't make me repeat myself. I'm Byakuya Togami. Is that meant to be an explanation? Hmm. Four billion dollars is nothing to the Togami Corporation. But for personal use, it's not bad. So now you understand, right? I'm not merely the child of modern-day nobility. You know, Byakuya, maybe we should start calling you the ultimate day trader. <laughs> oh, I don't do that anymore. It was too simple, so I got bored of it pretty quickly. Jeez, do you really- do you realize how insulting that sounds to the rest of us? I know, seriously. <laughs> of course, that's how I feel about anything I do. Frankly, life's too easy. It's only natural for me to do whatever I want in this world. Man, he really is confident. We're like worlds apart. Galaxies apart. Nighttime already. Tonight feels somehow uneasy. We still haven't settled things with Sakura. Everyone's in a terrible mood. I just hope nothing happens tonight. Something most likely will. After I declined the offer to become a shrimp, the tech support lady just refused to drop the issue. Once the shrimp idea was dead, she came back suggesting I should become a crab instead. How much can one person love crustaceans? I said no, of course, and she shot back. Okay, then how about... 
to make you an extra special, you can be crabbed that walks sideways and backwards. But how's that any better? I don't want to go sideways and backwards. I want to go forward. I heard her annoyed side on the other end of the line. Then she said, You just don't see the splendor of the crab. Haven't you ever heard of the tail, the crab, and the monkey? Of course I've heard of it. I know all about it, but so what? The crab beats the monkey, but it's just some legend. Hardly relevant to our greed-obsessed modern society. Sure, monkeys still show up in movies and stuff from time to time, but not crabs. Monkey-themed clothes are sweeping the fashion world, but the crab doesn't stand a chance, right? What I'm saying is, crabs have no place in today's light-speed world. Dear market research lady, which is why I chose to be the always popular bear image. And that's the secret origin story of Monokuma! I like crabs. I need to do something about Sakura. Better go to the dining hall and talk to the others about it one more time. Uh! Huh? Was that someone screaming? I think it came from the dining hall. Oh shit. Someone died, didn't they? Uh, it was Sakura. Sakura's dead. Oh my god. <laughs> Makoto, we've got a big problem, man. What's wrong? Uh... Look! Hero's finger shook as he pointed. Hina! What? Are you okay? What happened? She... she killed her. Genocide Jill killed Hina! Huh? No, no, no! She's not dead! Open your eyes! No way she's dead! What happened? Uh, well, Toko and Hina, just all of a sudden they were yelling and then they knocked the pepper off the table. And that led to a sneeze? Her giant balloons are a little too perfect, aren't they? I might be flat, but at least mine are real! And look at my shapely collarbone! Doesn't it just totally set you on fire? Mm, totally not adorable. Anyway, you totally non-adorable boys, just get her out of my sight, okay? Or else... My beautiful scissors! Now I'll start cutting and cutting and cutting and indulging myself for who knows how long. Okay then, then let's get Hina to the nurse's office. Come on, hero, help me. Uh, um... Sure. What the fuck was that all about? Genocide Jack's abrasive laugh chased us out of the room as we carried Hina away. By the time I finished taking care of Hina's injury in the nurse's office, she seemed to have finally regained her composure. Sorry. Thank you. Are you sure you're feeling better? Yeah, it... Really was just a scratch. <laughs> but still, that was super close. If I hadn't yelled out, you'd be dead right now. It's all thanks to me, you know. Yes, well a thousand thanks to you, sir. <laughs> so sarcastic. That just makes you sound even more hostile. Hina, what the heck happened? Um, we were just caught into a fight and I lost my temper and flew off the handle. Let me guess, the fight was because of Sakura. But... At first I tried to just ignore it. If you let jerk buttholes get to you all the time, you'll never have time t left to live your life. That's really true. No matter how negative people are, and how no matter how much shit people tell you, don't let them get you down. There's no point to giving any sort of attention to people like that. But she wouldn't let it go, so I just... What the heck? Without thinking about it, I felt like I wanted to punch her like a dozen times. You're serious? A dozen punches, really, without thinking. And when things got out of hand, Genocide Jack got let loose, right? Sorry. 
It's my own fault, but I... I couldn't take it anymore. Because... Because... Because she was saying all these terrible things about my friend, you know? Before I knew it, Hina's eyes started welling up with tears. And just as the tears were on the brink of spilling over... The door to the nurse's office burst open. I thought the door was going to fly off its hinges. Is it Sakura? Hina. Huh? Sakura! Ugh. You're hurt. What happened? Huh? Oh, nothing. It's not a big deal. Makoto, hero, what's the meaning of this? <laughs> it wasn't me, it was Genocide Joe. It's that the Mented Murderous Fiend's fault. <laughs> no, Sakura, don't! Damn. To hurt Hina. Damn you. To leave me alone, but hurt her. What is this? How dare you! I'm okay, really. It's just a scratch. Uh, no forgiveness. I can't forgive this. Uh, uh, Hero, if you want to hate someone, hate me. If you want to hurt someone, hurt me. I, I don't hate you exactly. I can't forgive this. Somebody save me! Hero nearly tripped over himself as he ran screaming out of the nurse's office. But just a second later... What's going on? Hey. What's all this noise about? Kyoko stood in the doorway to the nurse's office, taking Hero's spot in the room. It would seem... I gather something's happened. Kyoko, please, you have to stop Sakura. Wait. You don't need to stop me. I'm okay. I'm not going to do anything. I just... I'm drawing a line right here and now. Drawing a line? Goodbye. What's going on? Wait! Sakura! Hina sprang into action, leaving the nurse's office to chase after her. The only ones left were... <sighs> this is awkward. Kyoko, please. I know you're mad, but we need to talk. Kyoko. Are you still mad? Yeah, I figured. That's fine. Huh? Whew. About that issue we discussed earlier, it doesn't matter anymore. Then, do you forgive me for not being able to talk about it? In other words... You could have told me about Sakura and Monokuma fighting, but you stood quiet. You were only thinking of Sakura, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? You didn't want to confuse everyone until you could talk to her and be sure of what you saw. That's what you were thinking, and that's why you didn't tell me, right? Yeah. <laughs> to think like that. I wouldn't have expected such arrogance from you. What? Because... Because ultimately, that means you don't trust me. I do trust you, but stupid Makoto didn't want to tell you about it! No, that's not it. But if that's how you feel, I can't really change your mind. I'm sorry. That's fine. I've already forgotten about it. Besides... And I... I... may have overreacted. Huh? Anyway... It's over and done with. Like I said, let's just forget about it. Okay, thank you. <sighs> Doesn't matter anymore, I'd like to talk to you about something else. What is it you wanted to talk to me about? Indeed. Actually, I'd like you to come somewhere with me. I have business there. Where? So... Just come with me and you'll find out. I guess, but... Shall we go? With her typical indifference, Kyoko turned and walked away, setting a brisk pace. Kyoko! I hurried to catch up to her. She walked ahead in silence, and in silence I chased her, and eventually we arrived. 
What are we doing in here? The dressing room? So something else you mentioned. Indeed. That's right. It has to do with Alter Ego. But you said we didn't need Alter Ego anymore. Wrong. I didn't say we didn't need him. I just said he had done his job. Besides, it's not what... Besides, it's not us that needs Alter Ego. He has business with us. Huh? Right. Alter Ego asked me to bring others to come see him. Apparently he has something he wants to ask us. Alter Ego wants to ask us something. Uh. Hello. Um, it's just the two of you? Kyoko and Makoto? Kyoko's fingers glided across the keyboard. Is two not enough? Okay. No, it's okay. Two should be plenty. But what is it he wants to ask us? Indeed. Let's find out, shall we? What did you want to ask? So, um... Oh, yeah, so... I'd like you to take me somewhere where you can connect me to the school network. What? Kyoko and I quickly glanced at each other. She replied, Why? Well, um... You said my job was done, right? But to just stop here, saying I finished my work? But I don't want that. I want to be able to help. I want to keep being helpful to everyone. I want to work as hard as everyone else so we can all get out of here. That's right. That's... What Master would want too. So, to help everyone else. To solve the mystery of the school. That's the only way I can help is if you connect me to the school's network. But, if you did that, that's basically suicide. I'm positive the Mastermind would find out about it. They'd find you and they'd. You agree, right, Kyoko? So. I realize how dangerous it could be. But still, I have to do this. But... I'm scared, but I can handle it. I don't really understand why, but... But still... When I think about everyone else, my courage starts to grow. You might think I'm just some inhuman AI, but it's true. So, it's okay. I'm gonna do my best. If it's for the sake of everyone else, I won't be afraid. I couldn't help but get lost in that voice. It was just too committed, too admirable, too fragile. Hey. You remember what you asked before, Makoto? You asked what difference is between a person and a program, right? Yeah. Certainly. When I talk to Alter Ego, I don't know. I have no idea how to answer that question. I think maybe that's a question even a program's creator can't answer. But I can say this. Correct. There's no question that Alter Ego is our friend. Kyoko. I... To be honest, I didn't want Alter Ego to push himself anymore. Because if we take any more risks, the Mastermind really will notice it. But... Makoto. Let's do it, Makoto. Let's connect Alter Ego to the network. But... Hey. He's our friend, so I want to take his feelings into consideration. And he says that he wants to fight alongside his friends. Now, if... If you were in his place, could you just sit by and do nothing in this situation? If you saw everyone else fighting and doing their best, could you just look the other way? Or would you stand up? Stand up tall next to everyone else and tell them you're their friend. So, um... Hey, are you guys fighting? If it's about me, please don't. I want to be able to say, I know I can do this. Leave it to me. So please, let me try. Listen. And besides, there's one place where the mastermind might not notice. One place? That's right. Remember, there's another place besides here where there's no surveillance camera. A room without a surveillance camera. Are they talking about the secret room? That's it, the secret room you told me about. I definitely remember there was no surveillance camera in there. Indeed. And I do believe you can connect a network from there. I remember seeing the, an Ethernet port on the wall. 
However, just because there's no camera there doesn't mean there's no danger. There's no way to be sure the mastermind isn't monitoring the network somehow. We'll also have to move Alter Ego, and the mastermind may spot us going into a secret room. If they pick up on any of this, then it's all over. You're right. That's what we have to do. But despite all that, I still think we need to try. Correct. Because that's our best chance of finding any new clues. Kyoko. In that case, would you let me carry him? There's no way you could hide him with what you're wearing, right? So let me do it. It's true. Okay, then I'll leave it to you. Thank you. So then. Then let's get started. It's gonna be a little cramped for you, Alter Ego. Bear with us, okay? We started packing him up right away. I closed the laptop and stuffed it underneath my jacket. <laughs> it tickles! Ish, <laughs> you can't talk right now! We're gonna move you to another room. Until we get there, you have to be absolutely silent, okay? Understood, your command has been implemented. Good. To have him react like a machine like that all of a sudden, I didn't know how to react. Makoto. In the secret room, there are a bunch of different cables in one of the desk drawers. So there might be a network cable in there? However... Assuming the mastermind hasn't taken it already. Well, all we can do is go and check for ourselves. It's true. Agreed. Let's head to the secret room. Hey. Hey, Makoto. Why? Are you sure all the documents are gone? I refuse to believe you. Go and check again. What? Listen to me. Just hurry up and go. And make sure you don't run off. I'm gonna wait right here. Oh, I get it. She's acting. She was so forceful, I thought it made her mad again somehow. I thought so too. Just a second. Why are you just standing there? Hurry up and go. Okay, I'm going. So then. And be thorough. I'm counting on you. Okay, first we have to find a network cable. According to Kyoko, there should be a bunch of cables in this drawer. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Now we just have to connect Alter Ego. I immediately got to work. I pulled out the laptop and connected it to the Ethernet port to the cable. And that should do it. Yeah, I think it worked. Leave it to me. Just leave the rest to me. I swear I'll find something. I might even be able to connect to the outside world. If I can, I'll see if I can call for help. So, so please just wait a little while longer. I'm gonna just hold tight that. and put your faith in me. As I was about to leave, I decided to leave him with one last thing. No matter what, we're gonna get out of here. You and all the rest of us, as friends. Friends? Even me? Thank you. Thank you, Makoto. Makoto. How'd it go? Well, it went okay, but all the, um, documents were gone, just like I told you. I reply was an unintentional mix of acting and real feelings. Correct. I see. Then there's nothing left for us here. Goodbye. Before I knew it, Kyoko was walking away. She wasn't acting anymore, that much was for sure. Kyoko! What? Yes? Um... So we're just gonna split up? Why is that? Of course, I have no reason to stay with you at this point. Well, maybe, but isn't that a little too direct? <sighs> Should I hesitate and fumble or for something to say? You're so high maintenance. That's not what I meant. I just had more I wanted to talk to you about, like, what are you gonna do about Sakura? It's true. Well, if something has to be done, it's true. However. But the way things are right now, there's no way to persuade anyone. They don't have the mind to listen. Then what should we So if we can find some new clue, that would likely change the situation. That's all we can hope for right now. Which is why Alter Ego. Correct. 
All we can do is wait and believe in our friends. You're right. That's our only option. We parted ways and I headed back to my room. I'm kinda tired, so I laid down in bed. Maybe it's because of the stress of moving alter ego, but I was way more tired than I realized. So before long at all... Oh, come on, don't tell me we actually fell asleep. Oh, great. I'd completely dozed off. Huh? The sharp sound of the doorbell pierced my sleepy haze and pulled me back to the real world. Makoto. Makoto. Get out here. Kyoko? What's going on? Indeed. Hina just came to see me and... She was white as a ghost. It sounds like something's happened. What? As soon as I heard those words, my heart started to beat a little faster. I suddenly found myself wide awake. She said for us to come to the rec room. The rec room? Okay, let's hurry. Hina, what happened? Makoto... Kyoko! Hina, what's wrong? Something's not right. In the rec room. What's inside? There's a window on the rec room door. I hurried to look inside. And when I did... Sakura? Is she... Unconscious? She's sitting up in the chair like she's... Bowing her head. Hey. What's going on? Did something happen to her? Huh? I was just walking past and I happened to notice her through the window. But I couldn't get the door open. I tried knocking. I tried calling her name. But she wouldn't respond. Huh? So, what should we do? What are we gonna do? Anyway, First of all, we need to get into that room. But the door is locked, right? And if we break in, we'll be violating school regulations. Listen to me. We're going to force our way in. But I just said... Wrong. The door isn't locked. It's not locked because the rec room door doesn't have a lock. Huh? Then why? It would seem... Feels like the door is pressing up against something inside the room. Is it... The chair? Chair? In other words... Either way, this door isn't locked. Which means, as far as I can tell, the rule doesn't apply. Then there's no problem if we break in. Indeed. Let's smash the window. That should be the fastest way. Okay, I'll go get something to break it with. Wait right here! Inside the rec room, Sakura still hadn't moved an inch. She's just unconscious, right? Is she okay? I mean, it's Sakura, so I'm sure... Kyoko didn't reply. There's only silence. But that silence didn't last long. Here! Uh, I found a broom! Uh, in the classroom! Uh, use it! Makoto. You can handle this right, Makoto. Please. Come on! Please hurry! Okay, you two stand back. I took hold of the broom and swung as hard as I could. Aiming directly at the window. All it took was one solid hit. The window shattered into a hundred pieces, scattering across the rec room floor. I stuck my hand through the open window and started jottling the chair against the leaning of the door. The chair's pretty heavy. If I can just... I pushed it with all my strength and finally the, the knob turned. Sakura! I ran up to her. I ran up to her as fast as I could. But the moment I laid my hand on her... She's- oh my god. I knew she was gonna die, god damn it! <sighs> Before we even get the f- <sighs> Why? We didn't even get to find out what this- <sighs>
All I felt was cold death. I could feel only the last lingering warmth of a living body. Life had abandoned Sakura's body. And then... I heard Hina talking, but my eyes stared steadily forward. I could only look on at Sakura's dead body. We didn't make it in time. It happened again. Muttering to herself, Kyoko began to gently inspect Sakura's body. I wondered, was she confirming that Sakura really was dead? Checking for a pulse or a reaction? Poor Hina. I have to go get them. I have to go get the others. On shaky legs, Hina left the rec room. And I... Why? Why did this have to happen? That's all I could say. I repeated it over and over again. I... I need to examine Sakura's body. I just stood there motionless behind her while she checked Sakura's corpse. Time passed. While I stood there, unable to do a thing, time just passed. And after I don't know how long, I got everyone. What? Mm, yes, yes. Oh, so she's dead, huh? I see. Sakura's been killed. I see. As soon as they arrived, Kyoko began. Just a second. You heard the announcement just now, right? So you know what this means. <laughs> Sakura was murdered. And by someone in this very room. Is that what you were going to say? Huh? No. Whoever killed her? It's not just someone in this room. It's your it's one of you, Hiro Yakuya Toko. One of you killed Sakura. What? You're accusing us before we've even begun the investigation. I don't need to investigate anything. Because you hated her. You hated the sight of her. One of you did it. I know it. You know it? Jeez. I don't know your power level would increase by that much by just getting mad. What the heck? What are you doing here? Come on! Isn't it obvious I'm here to hand out a little murder flyer? It's the Monokuma file! <laughs> and don't get so mad, Miss Asahina. Or you're gonna ruin that lewd little face of yours. Hmm. Now then, with that, I... Hold on. There's something I want to ask you. It was you, wasn't it? You killed Sakura. Say what? Sakura wanted to challenge the mastermind to a duel. Maybe you and her fought again, and then... In other words... Then I killed her? Hmm? Sorry, not quite. Actually, not even close. <laughs> that whole thing is totally irrelevant now. Sakura came to a most regrettable end without even getting the chance to finish things with me. Which, thank God for that, saved me the trouble of having to go through with our little fight. Cause, even for someone like me, it would've been no mean feat to take down a behemoth like that. Hey, um... I gotta tell ya, I was pretty- I was actually pretty worried. I mean, she'd violated a rule by attacking me in the first place, but I wasn't able to punish her. So I don't know who it was, but whoever the blackened is this time, I owe ya one. You owe them one. Oopsie. 
Before you get all pissy potty at me, you better figure out who did it first. Cause I mean, your lives are all on the line, right? What is this? What the hell? He owes them one. I won't forgive you. I'd hate him. I hate this whole thing. <laughs> well, I for one am glad it was Sakura. She was working for the mastermind after all. How can you say that now? <laughs> Sorry, I don't have time for your squabbling. The next game has already begun. If you want to be angry at someone, be angry at whoever killed Sakura. Anyway, right now our top priority needs to be uncovering Sakura's killer. If we can't do that, we're all dead. Hmm. Then let's decide who will stand guard this time. I'll do it. Hina? I'm okay. Just let me handle it. Besides, I want to be here with Sakura. That's fine. Okay, then Hina's guard number one. But we need one more. Kyoko, that's you. What? Me? Hmm. You're always a thorn in my side. This time, just stand by and watch quietly. Consider that an order. An order? That's fine. Fine. I'll stay behind. Hmm. Then it's settled. Let's begin, shall we? Hold on. Before that, there's something I want to say. What? Which is... Hiro, Ryakuya, Toko. None of you are allowed to step foot in the crime scene. Huh? What? It's your fault! One of you killed her! I won't forgive you. I won't let someone like that come anywhere near her. Stop talking. Don't be stupid. Our lives are just as much as dangerous as yours. We have every right to investigate. I don't care what you say. I'm not letting the one who killed Sakura anywhere near her. Even if it means I have to use force, you're not getting in here. Well, it appears further discussion would be a waste of time. How about a compromise? It's all clear now. I won't ask you to let us all in. Just let me. <laughs> you don't really care, do you? You're both useless anyway. Yep. No, bye. I don't really care. <laughs> I'd rather spend my time coming up with another splendid fantasy involving master anyway. Then hmm. you, hero, do you really object? Uh, um... If you're gonna go that far, what can I do? I mean, I don't have anything to hide, so why should I care? It's all clear. Then it's decided. What are you Nothing's decided. Calm down. I know how you feel, Hina, but you really should agree to his request. But hey, we have to find out who killed Sakura. Correct. For those of us still alive, and to honor Sakura's memory. Fine. I guess that's okay. But no matter what, Byakuya, you absolutely aren't allowed to touch her. Naturally, who would want to touch such a filthy dead body? Listen. That's enough fighting. You need to focus on the investigation from here on out. Everyone, keep this in mind. If we can't uncover Sakura's killer, Listen to me. all of us face execution. Finding out who killed Sakura? It's not a matter of hoping we can do it. If we want to survive, we have to do it. It's kind of... hopeless hope. We have no choice but just to do it.